Today I want to wish all the moms out there Happy Mother's Day. Today I made my first vase on my little lathe and I think it came out pretty cool. Check out how I made it. So I have this previous panel from a, uh, a cutting board I'd made before and I made it to three and three quarter inches wide and also a piece of yellow heart that was also already milled up and ready. It was just 16 inches long that I had lying around. Went ahead and cut the remaining rough sized piece to three and three quarter inches. Now I switched it over to four inches and added a quarter inch piece of MDF as a uh, guide for my fence. This way I wouldn't be running the boards along the fence here. Now the board kind of kinked here and just to make sure that it wasn't going to kick back on me I stopped the saw and pulled that board out just, just in case so it wouldn't actually kink, catch, and end up kicking back on me because that has happened in the past and that's not a uh, pleasant thing to happen. So I cut the rest of them at uh, three and three quarter inches even though uh, I had the, had the fence set at four inches with that quarter inch piece of MDF they ended up being three and three quarter inch square. And then I set the fence back at three and three quarter and cut the uh, remaining two pieces that I had shorter uh, at three and three quarter. And then I used my miter sled and cut off uh, all four corners making these six-sided pieces. And I tried to kind of guess, guesstimate um, trying to make it somewhat even to be six-sided and uh, I didn't quite get the six sides perfectly even at, at the beginning so I had to kind of adjust the fence a little bit to get it closer and I, I got it pretty close to being uh, right on six sides very even. Uh, they didn't have to be perfect I was just getting it somewhat close so I can get it uh, pretty close for a glue up. But, uh, once I got it pretty close I just buzz through cutting all the other ones all six sides all the way around. So by having six sides I was able to rotate each one and make sure that each layer was 45 degrees from the layer above it and keeping the grain going a different direction on each layer. So then when I got all of them glued up none of the grain was going the same direction on all the layers made it quite uniform all the way down the uh, glue up. Then I screwed on a face plate and got it ready to put on the lathe. Now this is actually the largest turning I've had on my small jet lathe, and uh, it struggled at first, and I was kind of afraid that my little lathe wasn't going to be able to handle it, but um, kind of what I realized is that um, it just needed to get up to speed uh, for it to finally, for the tool to actually be able to do the work. And for me to get it up to speed, I needed to get it in balance. So I just needed to kind of power through and get it in balance. I just needed to have some patience. And uh, while it was rough, just keep on going and get it, get it smoothed out and actually get it in, get it in balance. Once I got it in balance, I was able to speed the thing up and the tool was able to do its job. And then I actually adjusted the belts changed it to the higher setting, cranked up the speed, and that tool just started cutting right through it. At that point on, it was it was smooth sailing, so then I was able to cut on and and do what I needed to do. So then I started really making it, making the profile, figuring out how I wanted this face to, to look. Before then, I, did, I really didn't even have a clue what I really wanted the shape to be. So uh, I was still trying to figure out where did I want uh, any transitions to be, how, what kind of shape did I want to make out of it. 
Um, I was still kind of making up my mind at this point, and uh, I was thinking I just kind of wanted to have kind of an hourglass shape at, at the beginning, but then I, I wanted to taper it toward, towards the top, and then maybe give a little detail towards the top as well. So uh, I started tapering it, and uh, <laughs> I had shaving starting to go everywhere. Now with this small lathe, um, I don't have much reach with the tail stock, so I had to make a lot of adjustments and uh, go slow with the portion bit. So I had the lathe set on the slowest setting. I think 500 RPM is as slow as it'll go. So um, right now I've got the video going at 600 times speed, so I'm not really cutting as as fast as it appears on your screen, but. Um, I was cutting in slow and uh, I had to keep on moving the tailstock in to, uh, to actually get some reach. And I'm, I'm actually just boring out an inch and a half hole and I chose an inch and a half just to get a little extra reach because the, uh, the actual chuck that I've got, um, an inch and a half would actually allow the chuck to go into the face just a little bit. Um, before it actually got to the teeth of the chuck. So, that's what I went with, inch and a half. And that would give me pretty good depth. I wasn't able to go all the way really deep and make a full base out of it, but it was deep enough. So then I moved on and did some final shaping. But once I took that tailstock away, um, then I realized that uh, it just having just the... just the base plate on there it was once again kind of out of balance and going into this again it was uh, out of balance again so I had to kind of redo my shaping and which is a good thing that I wasn't really done shaping at this point so it wasn't that big of a deal. Got into my final shaping and uh, I didn't really show any of my sanding here but I sanded I started off actually with 80 grit because uh, it was end grain and I did get uh, some rough spots. I started off with an 80 grit, went to 150 grit, 220 grit, 320 grit, and I finished with a 600 grit. I went with a satin lacquer finish, um, so this will not hold water. Um, I was actually planning on using fake flowers from the beginning, so that's what I'm going with. Once again, another project that was really fun. This is actually the first time I've turned anything this large on my little lathe. Uh, it struggled uh, at first when everything was not in balance, but it worked out just fine. Once I got it uh, round and in balance, it, it turned it just fine. And uh, the Easy Wood tools, they cut right through it once I was able to speed it up. Uh, they definitely cut better at a higher speed. But, uh, it turned out great. Even though a lot of this was end grain, I didn't have a whole lot of chip out. I was expecting a whole lot more chip out and even more catches than what I had. I had a lot of catches, but that was only where uh, it was open, where it wasn't even already, uh, already round. But once I got everything round, I didn't have a whole lot of catches. I was still expecting a bunch of catches when it was on an end grain. But uh, I, I hope you all had a great time watching, and I hope you all had a great Mother's Day. I hope my wife really enjoys her little present that she's going to be getting here. My son actually picked out the uh, the fake flowers that's going in the vase. So uh, I, I hope she really enjoys this. But uh, if you all haven't seen some of my previous videos, definitely check those out. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit the subscribe button. I've got more videos to come and uh, plenty, plenty more for you to see. And I hope you all have a great day and God bless.